Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Now, have you ever wondered if you actually went out to build the most expensive bike you could and you wanted it all to work together, what could you come up with? Now, Neil and Martin put together a little segment on Dirt Shed Show that inspired me because they built up a most expensive bike and I was watching it and thinking, oh, I bet I could beat oh. that. And it's, a, it's quite a fun little exercise. So I've put together what I think is my most expensive, real-world, workable bike. All right, okay, I'm intrigued, reveal all. Yeah, I built up a pretty pricey XC bike in the past, trying to be super light, so uh, let's see what you got. Let's get into it. The key with this bike is I've designed it to try and all work together, so it's, it's okay. not one of those, like, 24-karat gold uh, only available to no. global Multi leaders. Multi billionaires, yeah, you exactly. Know, I know the ones you mean. You sell your super yacht. Um, you could, if you were so in that position too. You could go out and order this stuff tomorrow um, and... You could technically yeah, buy it, right? You, yeah. could, you could even order it from your local bike shop, some of it. And they would be absolutely thrilled about the <laughs> They <margins>. would, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, so let's kick us off with okay. the frame, which you might be able to guess, because if you've ever needed your teeth fixed, you'll know <laughs> these guys. Let's go to the Yeti SB160. A great frame, and how much is that? That is four thousand seven hundred pounds. For the frame, I think. Yeah. Damn. But that's their top of the line. I think they call it their Turk range, which is like their best yeah. carbon layout, the lightest version, and the strongest version. And we've seen it it's being the, raced the premium this one, right? all year as well. So it's obviously that. That's four thousand seven hundred yeah. pounds. Damn. Now we must say there are some other pretty pricey frames out there and one sort of XC frame jumps to mind in particular, but it's not available yet, is it Isaac? That is true. This is the Pinarello Dogma XC. Mm. Peacock and Pauline have been racing on all year. Yeah. It's probably going to cost a penny when you pair it up with oh. what we'll come on to in a minute, the suspension. Yeah. But Spring 24 is the release and you know this is all about retail real now. prices. Yeah. So, um, Keep those comments for in six months' time. Yeah. We'll have to wait and see. But then, moving on, we got suspension. Now, yeah. Intend is about the most expensive that we could find out there. £1,686 for the Intend Flash. Yes, which is their kind of inverted uh, enduro freeride forks, assembled in Freiburg, southwestern Germany. So that's just in that little corridor yes. with Switzerland, Luxembourg, Black Forest, and. Um, yeah, it's important to say that these are, they're not the most expensive forks you can... No. Boxers, all those, like, Fox 40s, downhill forks, but that would mean the rest of the bike wasn't compatible with it. So it's all about the headline sticker price today and making a high total. Because it's all got to work together, right? We can't just be chucking yeah, just single ground forks stuff doesn't on work a together, downhill so yeah. frame. Yeah, no, this is... Yeah, nice, and uh, that is founded by Cornelius Capfinger. I just really want to say his name. <laughs> and we salute him for that. Because it's amazing, yeah. So £1,686. So moving on to rear suspension, we've done the front. How can we make our frame even more expensive? Well, of course, we can custom the rear shock on it, can't we? Exactly, and we can get a shock that is provided with a custom tune as well. So if you go on Push's website and you enter your weight, your riding style, what you need out of the shock, you can then part company with £1,450 and get a Push 116R, which is a very pretty bit of kit, and it's as it should be. Yeah. And that will fit very nicely on the SE. Yeah. From California, now in... Loveland. Loveland. Colorado. That's it. you got to love money to be able to part with it for that bad boy. Okay, time for wheels. And you, Isaac, have found an absolute scorcher here because these are almost as much as our frame, which I actually find really hard to believe. Yeah, I found it hard to believe when I read £4,500 under these wheels. And it's not some boutique little brand or you custom build or whatever. This is Syncross. Big company. Big company. Found a lot of builds. Yeah. Found under Tom Peacock in the Olympics winning gold medals under that wheel set, which costs more than a lot of other really expensive yeah, things. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of things on this list put yeah. together, in fact. But they are, like, fully carbon. Of course. It, you know, they, they look like they cost that much. Are they the ones with the, the carbon spokes woven in and mm. that as well? They yeah, are, so aren't they? Yeah, it's all kind of integrated within the hub flanges and the rims. Yeah, and, that's the ones. Yeah. I mean, I can kind of see where the money might go in the manufacturing and the design and all that. So, shod on those Syncross wheels, we've got Conti Argatau tyres, £160 a pair. Okay. Slightly more reasonable than I yeah. expected. I was kind of surprised. Oh. Protecting the wheels, we need Cushcore Pro inserts. Of course. £160 a pair again. Yep. 90mm reserve Fillmore valves. At how much? £58. For valves? For valve, yeah. <sighs> and on the top of those valves, £240 for a pair of these. SRAM Quart Tyre Whiz wow. digital yes, pressure readouts. They'll connect to your Garmin computer or your phone. 
Bluetooth those pressures up mm. and tell you when you. So you can see pressures on the go or afterwards. Crack out that gold plated pump and a. Uh, Jeez, and that gold plated out. car to buy it. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay, moving on to our headset and bottom bracket area now, Isaac. And this is all courtesy of Ceramic Speed. Yeah. Of and course. it ain't cheap. So for both bearings for your headset, that's going to be £298 for a pair of ceramic coated bearings. Yikes. Uh, I've actually found. £16 for some titanium headset spacers. Oh, very nice. And a SRAM Dub BB30 ceramic coated bottom bracket is £348 as well. So perched just above those titanium spacers is more titanium <laughs> in the cockpit, £888 altogether. Wow! That's a Thompson handlebars, £460. That makes sense. Five dev stem, £328. Okay. Current exchange rates. And <laughs> rev grips at £100. Which I, I hadn't really come across these. Yeah. But you say you have, and they sort of float around in your bars yeah, exactly. a little bit. They take out, they aim to take out a bit of arm pump, yeah. vibrations, you can tune them with different elastomer inserts. That's it, they just got a bit of movement, so apparently yeah. they sort of essentially like rev or twist like a throttle kind of. I'd, be really, I'd love to try those because it sounds like a terrible idea, but apparently yeah, it it's much, not. Mine, it ain't it's much. You don't like work. spin around 180 okay, and I'll be like, like, you can just swing off the throttle. <laughs> no, okay. definitely not. But 100 quid for a set of grips, that's a great find. Yeah. Right then, Isaac, when it comes to seat posts, there's really, you know, we want a dropper. There's only one contender here, isn't there? There could be only one contender, and that is the RockShox Reverb Axis Wireless Electric Dropper Post. Oof. Yeah. Which seems a bit, you know, they are actually quite common on a lot of race bikes. Yeah. But they do cost now £767 is the latest resale me. price. I didn't, I mean, I know they're, they cost a few quid, that's for sure, but I didn't think they were quite yeah. that much. That seems... Which is an awful lot. <laughs> it's an awful lot. And, uh, you know, obviously we need a seat post clamp to hold that nice and tight yep. in place. So we've got the Varu Cycles titanium clamp at £45 as well. Okay then, Isaac, I obviously try and only perch my bottom on the most expensive materials and seats. What have you got for me? Of course, only the best for Rich. We're taking a trip to Switzerland. We're going to hunt oh. some goats, what? turn them into a saddle, <laughs> and equip with the SeaTech Phenom C1 Cover 700 Series uh, for 630 what? pounds. What? For a goat saddle? Yeah. It's a, it's a saddle made of goats? Yeah. Shut up. That's what it says, mate. Yours for only the best part of, you know, 700 uh, euros. Okay, well, I mean, my butt ain't sitting on that. <laughs> Non-vegetarians only for yeah. this bike. <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay, I mean, I'll give you that. And then, <laughs> like, really, a goat saddle? Yeah. Well, if you think, I mean, you know, first they came for the, the shorts and we stopped using chamois. Yeah. So now, got to get your... Goat your, somewhere your, else. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Okay. Moving swiftly on, because that got a bit weird. Uh, Crank Brothers pedals, uh, egg beater, tie 11s, 414 pounds. That's a spicy ride. Okay, when it comes to brakes, I've got a manufacturer in mind who I think is going to be top of the chart. Who is it? It's Trick Stuff. Yeah, I thought it was much. Yeah. <sighs> Interestingly, also from Freiburg, Germany, as well as the suspensions so that we can do. Uh, all by, in, all not in by Cornelius, trip. though. Not by Cornelius. Different building. 1,126 quid. Bang it. For Trick Stuff Maximas. That's a set, though, right? That is front and rear. <laughs> But then we compare them with Hope Vented V4 Rotors up from oh. Lancashire, £260 a pair. Wow. Oh, wow. We're so actually, if we add that up, maths ain't that good. But that's like nearly 1400 quid. Yeah. Get a bike for that, mate. You actually could. That's <laughs> the could. thing. You could get a bike for that. 1400 or a, quid. Or, or a car. Or a car. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah Boris the van, RIP. Oh, Boris. Uh, yeah, well, it's basically <laughs> that much. <laughs> Moving on to the drivetrain, it could only be one. And that is the new SRAM. Mm, of course. I thought so. £910 for a shifter and mech. Wow. In which case you'll be riding trails with nothing that would <laughs> slam into like it. Just silky smooth blues. £160 on the chain. Obviously. Which is nothing compared to a £645 cassette. Whoa, you so don't want to replace that too often. Keep those chain checkers at the ready yeah. at all times. <laughs> yeah, right. And maybe just ride your bike in no gritty environments. Mm, yeah, and you'd think, well, what about the SRAM cranks? Well, we can go better. There are actually more expensive cranks than this, but aren't compatible with what we're going to run into next. But yeah. the most expensive cranks that we could find were the 5Dev titanium ones. Beautiful bit of kit, but those are going to set you back 1,243, which combined with a... O-Chain from Italy. So this divorcing some of the pedal kickback, maybe. Yeah. Or they do something, and yeah, people no, think do. that it definitely yeah. works for them, and that's why they race with them. Um, and that costs £334. And the next thing is? The next thing is adorning that SRAM mech, of course, is a ceramic speed. Oh, Oversized I pulley so. wheels, 3D titanium printed jockey wheels. Madness. 
It's probably one of the most vulnerable places on the bike. Yeah. In terms of rock strikes, and it costs one thousand five hundred and fifty-nine pounds. Wow! For an after, I mean, I can kind from a racer, you know, from my racing head, I can kind of get all of these things because you look for marginal gains. Yeah. But as your everyday cyclist, that's a lot of money, isn't it? It is a lot of money. I that's would. That's the love... SRAM group set. Yeah. Oof. Or just a cage and two jockey wheels. Or so just a cage. Toss it up, you know, which one would you choose? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I I do love these fancy parts and I do love sort of the mechanics and the engineering and the design mm. and the, the aesthetics that go into them but yeah sometimes that's a lot. Finally okay the last piece in the puzzle oh, that God. I build it is a silk bottle cage. Titanium of uh, course. I was gonna say carbon or titanium. Mm, titanium is always you know it's the money ticket. Y yeah and, and that, that is that is 98 quid. For a bottle cage? Can't be taking any risks you know. Good Wait point. Wait till you see how you know the diamonds Risky flasks. flasks True. Plus I'm the scrap be... value on that must be well good. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the totals have been totaled and the totals are. The totals are. <laughs> so break it down into different areas because mm. we're gonna have a little bit of fun with this afterwards, I think. But the frame, fork, suspension, <laughs> and headset. Eye watering already. <laughs> Eight thousand one hundred and fifty pounds. And there's a long way to go. Yeah. Okay. Wheel set, tires, insert, and valves. Five thousand one hundred and fifty pounds. Isn't it? <laughs> Drive train, yeah. 5,613 pounds. Oh, finishing kit and brakes, 3,814 pounds, giving us a grand total, total of... 22,727 oh. quid. Yours crazy. on next day delivery. You don't have to get anything custom made. Oh. But now we should say this is RRP prices. I'm yeah. sure you could obviously hunt around and find certain parts of this, probably most of it, I dare say. <laughs> Cheaper, but you know these are these are recommended retail prices we've gone of course. Off. So let's head upstairs and find out what the rest of the team think the most expensive bike you could build is, and see what they think of this, eh? I reckon they're going to be shocked. How much do you think the most expensive, easily available to order production bike might come in at? Fourteen thousand five hundred pounds. Oh, it's a lot more than that. Twenty-two thousand seven hundred and twenty-seven. What do you think of that, eh? That is ridiculous. £22,000. That is f***ing stupid. I would say probably... 19 grand. They're good, these guys. 22727 What do you reckon? Uh, it's a bit cheap, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, we can do better. We'll, we'll try harder next time. 20k. They're getting warmer. It's actually £22,727. What do you reckon? That's about right. 50 grand. <laughs> Coming in high and ruining the premise, of course. It's actually twenty-two thousand seven hundred and twenty-seven pounds. What do you think? You think you're getting a bargain then? Uh, no, no, you're not. No bargain. <laughs> so there we go. Then, as expected, some pretty shocked members of staff, including myself, on the total cost of that bike. Yeah, and if you know of any more expensive parts, any stuff that you can dig out on the internet, please send it in because this is an iterative thing. You know, we've improved the price that Neil and Martin did, <laughs> oh, and we'll come back and do this, and we'll just keep pushing it higher and higher. So let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching, as ever, and we'll see you next time. See ya.